Hey guys, Black Ninja 797 here in today's video. We're gonna be playing Infinite Warfare. We're gonna be playing the beta and we're gonna be trying to do well. We're gonna be trying to have fun. We're just gonna be trying to do a whole bunch of stuff. So we're gonna be playing some team deathmatch on I have no idea what the crap this map's called. What's this map called? Precinct. This map I think was not even default in the beta. I think they actually add this um, to PlayStation's beta. Um, the first time, slightly later, and now I think it just by default came with the Xbox. But then again, the beta did come out early yesterday instead of staying, I think instead of staying, um, one day longer, they just made it one day earlier. Just because of the Battlefield 1 being released today, which I am going to be super excited to play because I'm going to be playing that very, very soon. <laughs> and we got a guy raging already. But yeah, I'm going to be playing that game very soon. Because Battlefield 1, guys, it looks amazing. And... Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. <laughs> there's already dude giving call-outs. But, um... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people, you know, saying that this game is kind of, you know, just meh. Some people saying it's pretty good. It's really mixed opinions. For me, personally, I don't know what to think about this game. I've only played it for, like, not even a few hours. Like, I have yet to play this for one full day. So I need to play it longer before I can give a full opinion on it. Just because it, I, a few hours is not long enough to give an opinion. Like, it really isn't. So that's why I'm going to wait until, like, this beta is finished before I give, like, my opinions on what Infinite Warfare is to me. Or at least what I think it's like. Just because it's just a variety of things to me, in my opinion. And this gun here, this NV4, I think is what it's called, is really, really good, actually. It's like a default assault rifle that's actually pretty strong. Alright, so we got a pink sniper rifle. Oh, God. Aw, oh, come on, dude. You can't go through there? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, let's, let's pick up this thing for later. Uh, or just not. <laughs> and the Karma right here, this SMG, it reminds me a lot of the Vector, and I really want to get this. It's not that. And I will admit the uh, specialist slash rigs, these are also really fun. Like, for example, like uh, th this scythe one, like this dual wield, like machine gun arm thing, these are ridiculously fun. Especially when you're like going up against enemies, like and shooting them in the back, because then you can get like these triple and quad sprays and everything. The rigs, I've only used like a couple of them, but they do seem fairly balanced. There's not one that I'm like, you know, oh my god, this is overpowered, yada yada yada. They're, they're pretty fairly balanced. Like there's not like one that peaks, you know, like there's no, not, there's not one that necessarily peaks my interest where like I'm gonna just spam it all the time. But there is also no overpowered one, which is nice. They run any threes. Hey, we win. But, anyways, this is going to be my first Infinite Warfare beta gameplay, guys. I hope you did enjoy it because. Game, but... Bang! Yeah, exactly. Couldn't have said it better myself, my friend. It's a good game, but dang, there's a lot of problems. There's some good things. It's, it's, it's like a. The way I can put it is, it's like if Ghost had futuristic movement systems and supply drops. That's basically this game. But anyways, guys, this is going to be today's video. If you guys like the video, please drop a like on because that'll help me out a lot. And also subscribe to the channel if you're new because I really appreciate it. Let you guys know playing another video. Let me know your honest and true opinions about Infinite. Okay, hold on, I gotta back out and mute this guy because he's talking too much. But let me know your honest thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section, guys. Do you like Infinite Warfare? Is it fun? Is it bad? Is it kind of flip flopping? Like it's you know good one time, it's bad the next. What is your honest opinion? And let me ask you, will you be playing Infinite Warfare when the game launches? Because I want to know what everyone else thinks. I decided to play the game before I started you know, judging it at all. I played it for a little bit now. So far, I'm kind of iffy. I really don't know what to think. But I'm just, just trying to figure out whether or not I should even waste my money on this game. Because if it's going to be bad, I'm not going to use my money on it. If it's good, I will use my money on it. I'm just thinking about what I want to do. So let me know what your thoughts and opinions are down below, and also tell me why specifically, you know, like what you don't like about the game and what you do like about the game instead of just saying whether you like it or not. I would like to hear, like, you know, the reasons why. Mine, in my opinion, the summary about bad is hit detection slash time to kill, lag, and then the, like, overused thrust jumping. That's the three big issues for me. However, though, I have a lot of positives. Better kill streaks 
It's got a lot better weapons, and it looks like that the graphics slash maps play a lot better. Like, for example, there's no, like, huge, gigantic maps like in Cold Duty Ghost where you can't find everybody. There's three lane maps, which is nice. So, that's basically the summary of it, uh, but like I said I'm going to make a video about, you know, like, like going into detail, so I'm going to be saving that for another day because otherwise I'm going to say it all now. But anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.